All right, I have uh, 6 p.m. So I'm gonna start the meeting. My name is Michael Logan, um, the Vice President of Environmental Services for Compliance Plus Services, um, which is the environmental engineer and consulting for um, Gata Recycling Company Incorporated. Uh, and this is a public information session for a Passaic County District Saw Waste Management Plan Amendment application that has been filed um, by Gata Recycling Company um, related to their solid waste transfer station and material recovery facility for a proposed daily throughput capacity increase. Uh, we've made a public um, uh, notice of this uh, meeting, public information session uh, in uh, the, the papers, which appeared on um, March 24th uh, in two papers, one in English, one in Spanish, um, and invited the public to participate uh, and or attend this session, which is being done virtually <coughs> in accordance with um, New Jersey, DP, New Jersey DEP requirements. Um, we haven't gotten anyone from the public uh, contact us for um, entrance into the meeting, but the meeting will remain open until um, such time as someone wants to join. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to go through the presentation um, here today um, so we can have this formally into the record. Uh, this will also be part of a recorded session under the virtual um, meeting uh, and will be part of our um, available to the public um, on our website that we've set up for this uh, application, as well as we will be filing a final report into the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection um, with our final um, documentation and information related to this public uh, information session. Uh, since we have uh, no in-person meeting right now, I'm not gonna explain where the facilities and laboratories are. So we're gonna proceed right into the um, presentation. Um, I did wanna say if anyone has questions, uh, there is a function under the, um, the Zoom meeting to be able to raise your hand. We have a person monitoring um, the presentation. So if there are any questions that come up, um, please feel free to, to, uh, to ask them. I may ask for some questions to be held off to the end of the presentation. Uh, and after we get done, uh, initial go through, I will have the presentation um, being represented um, in a loop so that the information can be um, re-evaluated or re-looked at uh, as we go back um, throughout the night. Okay, again, this is for the Gata Recycling Company uh, plan of amendment application. So the Gata Recycling Company or Gata is a family owned company that has been in uh, continuous operations since 1935. Uh, Gator currently operates a permanent facility that is a solid waste uh, transfer station slash material recovery facility and a class A recycling center that is authorized under the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection uh, under a solid waste facility permit and currently TRP 23001. Uh, Gata's existing transfer station material recovery facility is currently permitted to accept up to 720 tons per day of solid waste at its facility, which may include up to 300 tons per day of class A recyclables. Uh, all the waste that is received um, at the facility is placed into its enclosed processing building that operates under negative air pressure such that all the emissions in the building are directed and drawn to Gata's ventilation system that has four individual air pollution control units on the building. 
Uh, GATA has filed a plan amendment application with the Passaic County to request an approval to increase the daily capacity for its transfer station material recovery facility from its current 720 tons per day to a maximum of 1,200 tons per day under the county's district solid waste management plan. While the application has been submitted and conditionally approved by the Passaic County Solid Waste and Recycling Program to proceed forward, uh, the application is currently scheduled to be presented um, to the county's Solid Waste Advisory Council on May 24th, uh, 2023 for review. It says additionally, following the review by SWAC, the plan amendment will also then be presented to the Board of Commissioners that would either be subject to their final approval uh, based on the SWAC's um, judgment of the application to be uh, complete and or it's gonna be uh, supported or not supported and the final decision we made at that time. If the, the Board of Commissioners will approve to amend the District Solid Waste Management Plan, the revisions will then be sent into the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection, where the Solid Waste Planning and Licensing Group will conduct a final review and approval of the application. If, upon successful completion, of the Passaic County plan amendment process, GATA then still has to go through the necessary applications with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection for final approval to revise the current solid waste facility permit and amend its pre-construction air permits to operate in accordance with the new uh, amended daily waste throughput capacity. The reason for tonight's meeting <clears throat> stems from the state of New Jersey's recently issued environmental justice law, EJ law, um, to, whoa. to introduce new requirements to evaluate environmental and public health stressors of impacted um, of certain facilities on overburdened communities. I apologize. The environmental justice, while the regulations were just recently um, were being developed and had just been recently passed, the commissioner issued administrative order 2125. I'm gonna stay on this slide. That provided for means that provided for means for facilities in subject to the new environmental justice law. I can't stop it. For any facility that had been in good touch potentially result in adverse impacts to overburdened communities. I can't. To be able to have in community outreach to potentially impact it
outreach to extend it to an opportunity for comments and extended public participation requirements. While these provisions do not uh, necessarily extend to the plan amendment process currently, um, the Passaic County had requested GATA to implement the enhanced public outreach requirements to the community for this application to ensure that there was sufficient opportunity for public comment, public participation related to the transfer station material recovery facility um, proposed changes um, to demonstrate that the uh, New Jersey DEP's environmental justice which for the overburden community as demonstrated by the environmental justice website. As part of the expanded public participation process under the Administrative Order 25, GATA published the public notice in two newspapers, again, one in English, one in Spanish, oh. indicating that a 60-day public comment period, which began on March 24, 2023, was open where the community could submit in written comments on the activities proposed in GATA's plan amendment application, which is under review by Passaic County. The notice provided a website location where a full copy of the application and relevant information was available for review, including a full copy of the application um, itself, which is also available at the Passaic County offices for any interested parties to uh, review. The notice, the notice also included announcement of this public information session, which we're at today, uh, to hear information about the pl proposed plan amendment. Um, during the public information session today, we provided with an opportunity to ask questions uh, on the project itself or to provide verbal comments uh, to be included as part of the application record. Uh, questions related to the plan amendment or approval process requirements can be directed to Nina Seiden um, with Passaic County uh, Solid Waste and Recycling uh, Program Coordinator. Uh, and written comments regarding the solid waste plan uh, amendment application related to the proposed increase in daily throughput capacity can be directed to myself at the address provided here. This address will also be provided at the end of the slideshow and can be obtained off of the website um, location as we have listed and provided in the public notice in the newspaper. GATA's current transfer station material recovery facility currently operates at 278 West Railway Avenue in Patterson, New Jersey, in Passaic County. GATA also includes and operates a Class A recycling center located directly across from its transfer station material recovery facility at 189 to 195 Genesee Avenue, as pictured in the locations here. So transfer station at, on West Railway Avenue, the Class A Recycling Center location. And in addition, there's a scale that's located just across the from the facility to allow for incoming vehicles to get weighed and also for queuing of trucks to keep uh, vehicles off of county and local roadways. The gated transfer station material recovery facility is located in a mixed use area in the city of Patterson. To the east of the site are the Norfolk Southern uh, Railroad tracks. To the north are industrial uses and to the west are residential properties. And in addition, there's the Omar Islamic Mosque to the south 
along with other mixed residential and commercial properties. As noted in the picture, the privately owned and operated facility has been an integral component of the Passaic County Solid Waste Management Plan since 1984 and is operated at its current location since 1990. Gatiss Transfer Facility uh, Material Recovery Facility is currently permitted to receive up to 720 tons per day of solid waste Monday through Saturday. And the application that Gate has applied to the county for inclusion in the solid waste management plan is to increase the daily capacity another 480 tons per day to a maximum of uh, 1,200 tons per day for the facility. Currently, the type of waste that are accepted at the facility include type 10 municipal waste. This is waste originating from communities consisting of household waste from private residences, commercial waste from retail and service establishments, and institutional waste from schools, hospitals, and public buildings. The facility can also accept type 13 or bulky waste, which are large items of waste materials such as appliances, furniture, discarded automobiles, trucks, trailers, and large vehicle parts and tires. The facility can handle 13C or construction and demolition waste from materials from building material and rubbling uh, resulting from construction, remodeling, repair, and demolition operations on houses, commercial establishments, pavements and other such structures. We also handle type 23 vegetative waste, materials from farms, um, plant materials from nurseries and greenhouses, and from materials produced from raising of plants. And the waste also includes uh, crop residues and uh, plant stalk uh, materials from uh, waste that for materials that be waste through a uh, wood chipper from other operations, from class B operations. Finally, the facility can also accept type 27 dry industrial waste, which includes uh, waste materials resulting from manufacturing, industrial, and research and development processes and operations, which are not hazardous. Since the facility is also a material recovery facility, it accepts class B recyclable materials, which includes concrete, brick, block, wood, tree parts, tires. Uh, we also accept in class A vegetative, um, sorry, class A recyclable materials, which includes glass, corrugated metal, newspaper, office paper, number two through six polyethylene, uh, terpene uh, or PET containers, number two high density polyethylene, um, HDPE containers and other plastic containers, aluminum, steel and uh, cans and plastic film. The recyclable materials are separated from any other solid waste at the material recovery facility and sent offsite to be marketed for inclusion back into the, uh, for end products. Gated is also approved to process up to 300 tons of class A recycled materials at the transfer station, which is typically just transferred directly across to Gated's existing class A recycling center located uh, across the street. Gatiss Class A Recycling Center is authorized with a capacity of 300 tons per day itself, which will remain the same and no change is proposed to that facility. That would include anything that was coming from the Gata Transfer Station Material Recovery Facility, as well as materials that may be delivered from other third parties directly to the site. This facility is equipped with various equipment 
including loaders, forklifts, excavators, and processing equipment to be able to sort and separate uh, trash and or repackage solid waste for shipment offsite. Solid waste and class A, B recyclable materials are received in the transfer station and tipped and sorted manually using loader equipment and bailed if necessary for shipment offsite. As mentioned above, recovered class A materials are typically reloaded and delivered directly across the street to Gatiss Class A Recycling Center for further sorting and transfer to authorized recycling markets. Solid waste are routinely reloaded onto solid waste transfer vehicles for delivery to an approved solid waste disposal facility. Waste may also be loaded into intermodal containers for transfer to other non-gated intermodal container facilities for, trans, uh, for transportation by rail or other means to an offsite disposal or landfill facility. But Gazer has also recently added the ability to bail waste into EnviroBail rail bags, which specialized high tensile strength, environmentally sealed woven polyethylene bags that can be loaded directly into a transfer trailer. Then the rail bags can be sent to Gata's new rail intermodal container facility where they can be loaded onto rail cars for shipment offsite directly to a end facility. Gate is committed to the use of the rail as an option for shipment of solid waste offsite and landfills enhances the use of the facility to more use more high efficient means of transportation, saving fossil fuels and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. All waste that are received at Gata's material transfer station material recovery facility is placed within an enclosed process building that operates under a negative air pressure. All the emissions from the building are drawn into a ventilation system. And the process building has four individual air pollution control units that address potential odors and emissions from the processing of the solid waste. Indicated below a schematic of the two types of air pollution control systems that are located at the facility. In particular, we have two of the units, so there's a redundancy uh, on both sides of the building. So where we have an air pollution control system that utilizes a um, pre-filter unit followed by a, a carbon filter and um, particulate filter for an exhaust. There's two of those located on one side of the building and to the remaining side of the building, the air is taken off into a particulate cartridge filter type unit and also through a exhaust through a carbon filter unit prior to exhausting from the building. And those, again, those are both redundant systems. Talk just a minute for the new rail intermodal container facility. New mail intermodal container facility has been added to the GATA. It's located at approximately one mile from the existing transfer station material recovery facility. So, Gated added the ability to package the outgoing waste, solid waste into these pre-engineered Enviro rail, rail bags, which are specially designed for providing environmentally sound and secure transportation. And handling of the waste shipments. These are then loaded into fully enclosed trucks before going to the rail facility 
to be loaded into open top gondola cars where they're finally shipped offsite to a final disposition or disposal facility such as a landfill. Uh, Gate has invested in the new infrastructure to provide this support service to the transfer station material recovery facility, um, provides availability for long-term uh, alternate waste disposal. As facilities have been getting further away for um, providing cost-effective uh, disposal services to the waste that are generated in North Jersey. Um, and due to the short trip to the intermodal container facility, GATE is able to utilize uh, their facilities and um, reset the the outbound trailers in a more efficient fashion to ensure that there are uh, less vehicles on the roadway during high peak periods of traffic. The rail itself is highly efficient means of transport. Um, the railroads reduce the huge economic cost of highway congestions. These are based on Texas uh, Transportation Institute's uh, study of the 2019 Urban Mobility Report. Highway congestion costs Americans $166 billion um, from waste of time. I apologize for the problems in this presentation. Um, eight, and actually results in 8.8 .8 billion hours of additional time on roadways, as well as 3.3 billion uh, extra gallons of fuel in 2017. Uh, a single uh, freight train can re replace several uh, hundred uh, trucks, multiple train and freeing up space on the highways. Um, and shifting freight from rail also reduces uh, emissions on the highway where there is actually the presence of um, to build and construct new highways. It's also more efficient, fuel efficient from the rail ahead of the uh, increased costs. We can actually move per ton of material moved on the railways can move set 480 miles for each gallon of uh, diesel used. In addition, um, if the, the American Railroad Association analysis of federal data finds that if 25% of the truck traffic were moving at least 750 miles by rail instead of by highway, there would be about 13 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions that would be saved, lessened, uh, and less greenhouse gas emissions uh, from fuel and direct costs to the consumer and the environmental. And in addition, there's 50% of the truck movement were at least 750 miles. Greenhouse gases would then also fall by an increased amount of 26.2 million tons annually. Gate is 
the current pre-construction air permits do allow the facility to operate in this enclosed fashion and utilize their uh, air pollution control system for controlling emissions from the process transfer building. As we indicated, the building is designed to ensure that all the air emissions from the building are directed to the ventilation system and the associated uh, air pollution control equipment. The existing air permits address the potential for emissions based on the current facility's maximum daily capacity of 720 tons per day, um, based on a six day uh, week operating week and 52 weeks per year. Given these figures, the current air emissions from the facility result in uh, 0.63 tons of total particulate emissions, uh, about 0.44 tons of that are, are made up of emissions that are less than 10 microns in size, or these what we consider somewhat respirable uh, conditions. And then the very small emissions, which are suitable to these particulates, are uh, have a 0.31 tons per year based on the emission modeling. The methylmer captain is also the main uh, pollutant of potential emissions, which would result in 1.05 tons per year. These emissions are all very low and all meet the risk assessment uh, requirements um, to ensure that uh, any emissions to the property line uh, or offsite uh, of the facility are below at the threshold levels for um, not requiring uh, any additional controls and or um, means for uh, reducing emissions further to ensure that there's not an increased risk to the general public. So the plan approval is to allow Gaten to increase the daily solid waste throughput capacity of the transfer station of the existing under the existing solid waste permit. Uh, the capacity currently for the solid waste types 10, 13, 13C, 23, 27, from the currently approved rate of 720 tons per day would then be expanded to the 1,200 tons per day of the facility. Uh, as we'd indicated before, there's no change in the current Class A recyclable material capacity of the facility that operates just across from the transfer station. Um, building. However, we've, in, we've included in with the analysis of traffic impacts for this application, the operation of both facilities simultaneously at its worst case conditions. The increased daily capacity does not require GATA to change any of the facility's operating procedures and or the, uh, change anything at the process building. The proposed increase also does not require the installation of any new equipment or controls at the site. Everything is sized appropriately to be able to handle this increased volume. Uh, GATA has received um, a letter of support from the uh, mayor, um, the town of uh, the city of Passaic um, for this application and we've gone over this application with them. GATA has previously utilized the services of Smirnoff uh, engineering associates who prepared a traffic impact study analysis that was completed in April of 2015 um, that addressed the proposed in capacity increase up to 1,200 tons per day. The Smirnoff 20, 2015 study um, assumed an increase in the solid waste capacity from the full amount of which would then was operating at 400 tons per day to 1,200 tons per day. In 2015, the analysis concluded that the proposed expansion of the facility uh, could be developed without any adverse impacts to the surrounding uh, roadway networks on the traffic that would require any amendments of the existing uh, roadways or roadway systems. Since the 2015 impact study was conducted, there have been no significant changes in the surrounding area that would expect to impact the traffic 
uh, such that a new larger, such as new large residential developments, significant increases in population growth, or new or planned industrial community uh, commercial developments. Since the 2015 impact analysis was conducted, uh, there have not also been significant increases in the surrounding area where there's expected an impact on traffic, such as these additional facilities. Additionally, the approved traffic routes for the GATA transfer station material recovery facility have not changed or are not changing as part of the operations. There's two currently op, uh, approved routes to access the facility from an incoming side, one from Route 46 and a traffic route assessment from Route 80. There's also a one outbound traffic route, which takes it to Route 80 currently, uh, and also includes in the intermodal container facility, uh, which is right along the same pathway to Route 80. It's just extended slightly beyond the uh, turn for the uh, out for the inbound route outbound ramp to the Route 80 uh, corridor. Both of these factors were concluded in the 2015 assessment um, and included in with the application that was submitted into the county. To further validate the 2015 analysis and its conclusions, CPS performed an additional updated traffic assessment, which included conducting traffic counts at the primary impacted intersection of the facility at the Genesee and West Railway Avenues on March 16, 2022. The traffic assessment performed by CPS also confirmed the findings um, that the projected traffic data included in the 2015 traffic assessment uh, con concurred with the Smirnoff study. CPS also agreed with the previous findings that the Smirnoff of Smirnoff study that the transfer station material recovery facility can be expanded to increase the daily solid waste processing capacity at 1,200 tons per day without any adverse traffic impacts to the surrounding railway roadways. As noted in the CPS traffic assessment, which is completed prior to GATA receiving final approval of the new rail transfer station, uh, the addition of the option to use the rail inter intermodal container facility for outbound waste shipments will allow the transfer station and material recovery facility to stagger its shipment scheduling to further reduce traffic impacts avoiding peak hours when the shipping to the intermodal container facility. Lastly, the proposed expanded operation capacity will result in a small increase in the facility's particulate and methyl mercaptan emissions. However, these criteria are still considered de minimis and meet the risk assessment requirements for the state's air pollution control uh, regulations. Uh, annual increases will, um, due to the increase in the waste throughput, um, put the particulate emissions from 0.63 tons per year to a total of 1.05 tons per year, and methyl mercaptan are expected to go from 1.0 tons per year to 1.75 tons per year. Again, all the annual emissions will remain below New Jersey's risk screening thresholds or the emissions that where it's not considered to be a significant health risk. <clears throat> GATA also plans to combine the two air permits into a single air permit uh, when the uh, new application is uh, going in. It's because there was two permits that were issued because of the construction of a new process building that was completed in 2020.
Gator's proposed increase in the daily operating capacity is not expected to result in significant adverse impact to local traffic in the area of the facility and does not require a new change in the existing uh, building or facility operations. In addition, the new daily volume will only result in minimal increases in the site's potential air emissions. During the tropical storm Ida, GATA actually received approval to operate at 1,100 tons per day under an emergency authorization and did so for several weeks without issues or incidents. Overall, these proposed revised operations are not expected to result in any significant adverse effect or increased public environmental stressors, public health stressors uh, to the surrounding community. The city of Passaic issued a letter of support for the operations. So we're proposing to have the um, application approved by the board of commissioners uh, as part of this submission. Just as a reminder, a copy of the plan amendment application, as well as the information related to possible environmental and public health stressors associated with the project uh, are provided online uh, at the website location provided below. So it's www.complianceplusservices.com slash Gator Recycling. Individuals may also review a copy of the application in person by appointment during the hours of 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the office of the County of Passaic, located at 90, uh, 930 Riverview Drive, Suite 250 in Tattawa, New Jersey. So to schedule an appointment or to ask about questions about the county application review process, please contact Ms. Nita Seiden, Manager, Solid Waste and Recycling Programs. That her ad, that her phone number 973-305-5738 or email location at nina s at passaicounty.org. Again, written comments regarding the solid waste management plan amendment application related to the proposed increase in the daily recycling capacity uh, should be sent to myself as a technical consultant for GATA at um, Compliance Plus Services, Inc., 240 Gibraltar Road, Suite 100, Horsham, Pennsylvania, 19044. Or you can also provide, um, reach me at mlogan at Compliance Plus Services, all one word, dot com. Thank you for your listening and I apologize for the glitches in the presentation uh, at this time. Uh, does any of the, the individuals that are on right now have any questions? Okay. I do not, Michael. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, Michael, I, actually, I did have one comment. You might just want to make a correction to the record. Uh, I think you said the city Passaic, where Gate is located. Uh, I think you meant right. That. This should be the city of Patterson, not not the city of Passaic. I apologize. Just, no worries, just for the record. Thank you, Wayne. Getting a little flustered with the handling of the slides. I understand it well. I'm not sure why the presentations go like this sometimes. It's Murphy's Law. Yes. There's no questions at this time. Um, what I'll do is, uh, Michelle, do you have anything or direction to provide?
assuming that. I'm going to let the slideshow um, continue to loop um, for the moment. And uh, we're going to monitor it to see if anybody comes on from the public or if anyone has any questions in the interim. Um, they feel free to ask me. Uh, we'll go through anything that's uh, provided in the application uh, or any other part of the next part of the process that we need to review and um, try to proceed in that direction. Uh, if someone should come on, I will announce it so that we can kind of go through the presentation again and or uh, allow them to get a full um, you know, uh, run through of the information that was provided. So I'll put you guys on hold for the moment. We're back up.
Hi, everyone. Sorry, we're just going to, uh, since we haven't gotten anyone else, um, contact us to join the meeting as of yet. I'm going to change the slide show over to just the uh, contact information. So if anybody has any questions, they'll have that information readily available if they log on or come in. And, uh, and again, we can start up uh, again with the presentation if we need to for the uh, for any public uh, individuals that want to join the meeting. Any other questions? We'll let you. Thank you, Michael. Yep.
Hello, everyone. Appreciate everyone's uh, staying on if you're still out there. Um, we haven't gotten anyone that has uh, decided to join the meeting. Uh, I am going to um, start officially ending the meeting now. Uh, again, if there's any other questions or information I need to provide, uh, please let me know. Um, I will have a uh, copy of the presentation uh, available on the website um, for the, the public and everybody's general consumption uh, <clears throat> tomorrow. And uh, we will get together the videotaping of the public meeting and put together a final report for this um, in accordance with the A25 requirements uh, shortly and get that out to uh, um, to all uh, individually as well as posting that on our website as well. Um, so the information will be there and available for the public. Um, and uh, if we get any additional comments or questions or concerns, uh, we'll certainly let everybody know and we'll final, finalize up and file our final report uh, by the 24th of May. Um, <clears throat> does anyone have, have anything to add before we close out the meeting tonight? Okay, then uh, again, I thank you for your time and uh, consideration and, and patience with uh, some of the uh, technical issues that happened. You know, we, tried, we finally tracked everything down uh, as to what was going on, so got to correct it. Um, and I will uh, leave out. Thank you very much again. <clears throat>